Today is August 11th. Since August 1st, there have been 12 homicides. It doesn't take a mathematical genius to figure out that that's a little more than one killing a day. It doesn't take an expert on crime to figure out that the homicide epidemic continues unchecked. The first of last night's four homicides occurred here at Big John's Tavern, 310 Ponce de Leon. Fred Taratonis shot his wife Dorothy around 9 o'clock last night. She died at 3.15 in the morning. The next one was here in the parking lot of the Empire Liquor Store, the scene 11 days ago of another homicide. William Owens, age 59, was shot, the victim of an apparent robbery. At 2.15 in the morning, Bobby Lee Moore was shot to death outside his house at 288 Fairburn Road. The killing is suspected to be drug-related. There is no suspect in this murder. And homicide 146 happened at 2253 Evans Lane. Shortly after 2.30 this morning, Israel Furtick stabbed his roommate, Willie Smith, to death. Police are still searching for suspects in two of the killings, and overall of the 12 homicides in August so far, in only three cases have arrests been made, one domestic and two sudden anger. The other nine, robbery-related, drug-related, and cause unknown, are still without suspects. Atlanta's murder investigators are hoping that the GBI agents and the state patrol officers that Governor Busby is willing to send over to help Atlanta's police personnel shortage will also help ease the incredible pressure being put on this city's homicide division. From Atlanta Police Headquarters, Mark Picard, Action News.